the lamb industry in Ontario has has the ability to grow in many, many aspects. I'm pretty confident that the sheep industry is on an up. The demand for Ontario lamb has grown substantially. All year we sell lambs, all year round. All you have to do is go to Toronto and see, or go to any city in Ontario, and you'll see that our ethnic culture is asking for more lamb. We we'll just like the local lamb, Ontario lamb. The goat industry has got all the same potential. Changing demographics throughout Canada mean that more people are eating lamb and goat more often. Ethnic immigrants are the highest consumers of lamb and goat and represent the fastest growing demographic segment in Canada. In the recent census, more than half of the 1.1 million newcomers who arrived in Canada chose Ontario as their home. Ethnic immigrants are the highest consumers of lamb and goat in Canada. From 1997 to 2007, Canada's lamb consumption has increased by 63%. Today, Canadian farmers produce roughly 40% of the lamb, sheep and goat sold and consumed in Canada. The other 60% is supplied by importation, mainly from New Zealand and Australia. There's more than ample room for new and existing Canadian producers to grow their markets. A variety of professionals throughout the supply chain cycle support the sales efforts of producers across Ontario. Lewis Farms is a family-run business with my father Don and my brother Anson and our three spouses. And, uh, and this business started out of a, was supposed to have been uh, a winter project or a summer project and has grown into a year-long project. I see the Ontario lamb industry at a crossroads. Uh, um, there's this build-up demand from the recent immigration policies we've had in Canada. There's a lot of, of uh, goat and, and sheep consumers that have came in. We have uh, two chains set up with uh, a pr two producers in Ontario at the time and we try to get as many lambs locally that we can purchase economically. And that is a struggle in the industry for us to purchase lambs in Ontario all year. A lot of people uh, have built very successful businesses on being able to communicate with their neighbors and their suppliers and, and it's, it's not rocket science stuff. We'll comment on the health of the animal back to the producer very, very regularly. Um, if we run into an issue where we have a lot of worms or if there is a mortality issues with the lambs, we communicate back so they can correct it. I mean, that's the key thing is, is communications. And that goes all the way up through the system. And uh, we're only a text message away from talking to the next guy up the line, right? And that's all it is. Just keep talking. Ultimately, if the producer really cares about his product, what it looks like when it's done, well, how's it hang on the shelf? That communication, they won't get better if we don't tell them. So we really, we try to communicate back to them as much as we can. Two years ago, uh, we switched over to RFID tags. We went to the RFID system. And now we have it implemented with all our youth, with our youth flocks, our producer in Eastern Ontario, we use RFID with his. So the lambs are all recorded when they come and then they're recorded when they leave. The amount of data that is required to produce to the federal government made it very well mandatory and user friendly to use RFID. It's gotta be easy to trace too. These little tags they have in there now have been very difficult for people to read and follow through the system. And there's a lot of room for error. I think when we go to RFID tags and they're easier to handle, easier to apply. We'll have a better system. The benefit that we see to an RFID or an ID system in a value to the processor and to the consumer is that that lamb is, is fully traceable. And the consumer can have that safety to know that their food's safe. And that's ultimately what we have to produce to a consumer is that your food is safe. Ontario Stockyards, based in Cookstown, Ontario, is one of several auction marketplaces where farmers can sell their product on a weekly basis. There is consistent demand for lamb, goat and sheep at stockyards throughout Ontario. Nick Delia Sr. is a regular fixture every Monday at the Ontario Stockyards, bidding on quality Ontario lamb, sheep and goat. He, along with his longtime partner, Gino Plastino, and son, Nick D'Elia, of Newmarket Meat Packers, operates one of the largest processors in Ontario. They sell well over 100,000 units to buyers across Ontario every year. Every Monday, I go to Ontario Stockyard to buy lamb, sheep, and goat. 
I continued to Ontario Stock Care for over 40 years. We are one of the larger buyers in Ontario. We have a big demand for sheep, goat, baby goat, and lamb. I never stop to help the farmer in Ontario. Farmer, for me, is a life for our business. New Market Meat Packers has been around for 40 years. We're a family business. We have a deep commitment to the industry and to support local farmers. We're not going anywhere. We're here to stay. You know, we're just waiting for the supply. We get our lamb anywhere from Alberta to Quebec. We shouldn't be having this problem. We shouldn't be having to buy um, our lamb out of Quebec or Alberta or Manitoba when clearly the demand is right here at home in Ontario. We've seen a great demand for Ontario lamb product in Sudbury, Ottawa, Sault Ste. Marie, and uh, they, they just can't get the product. So we've expanded our distribution beyond the GTA and we're, we're supplying most of Ontario now. Currently we do a, a rack of lamb, we do a short loin saddle in the box. We do a full boxed lamb product, products that consumers are already purchasing from our competition. There's a good mix of consumers wanting a good mix of cuts. That's our boxed, our boxed lamb product. Racks, short loins, leg cuts, uh, further processed items that are retail ready. This is our new line of lamb mini kebabs. We launched the Ontario Lamb Company to put an identity to Ontario Lamb because uh, right now there is none. Ontario Lamb has no identity on its shelves other than a butcher or meat manager telling you that it's, it's Ontario, local Ontario product. Um, we wanted the consumer to, to easily identify with a local product. Um, competing against the imports such as New Zealand lamb or Australian lamb who are dominating our, sh our shelves right now or the grocery stores and the meat stores because you know there's not enough there's not enough lamb produced here locally. Well, I started in 1993 we started with one unit then slowly slowly you know we started you know with a Right now, I'm 3,000 square feet. Like 1,000 square feet, that's there. Then I got 3,000 square feet right now. Like it's just a regular week, like right now, if we sell 35, 40 lambs. Easter time and Christmas time, about 1,200. I don't think any, anything can beat Ontario lamb. The freshness there, the taste and everything, you know. So a lot of more Canadians now, they get into lamb, you know, buying lamb, lamb chops, you know, uh, soldiers for cooking and the quality is there. No doubt about that. That's what you call Ontario lamb. This is the Ontario lamb. These are the legs, these are the loins, that's where you cut the chops. This is a solder you know you use for cooking, for the oven, for anything. This quality. Clearly there's an opportunity to fill a big gap here. We're gonna to have to produce an awful lot of lamb to replace that importation. The biggest challenge we're having is supplying a growing demand. We cannot find enough Ontario lamb. The ethnic community is where, you know, is growing and uh, we need lambs. We need to go from 40% production to 60%. The demand for lamb period is on the rise in this province. Not too many farmers produce lambs. We're trying to get the message out there to other farmers who maybe aren't doing so well in their sector and have them venture out into the lamb, sheep and goat sectors. If there are producers that want to be involved in the chain and want to work with us to do this, we are always very willing and open to talk to people. Local farmers have an opportunity to step into a growing market with uh, guaranteed sales.